Hi, this is T. Payton. I'm on Final Cut 10.2.3. And today I wanted to talk to you about relinking and some techniques um, that I use, especially when converting old Final Cut legacy projects to uh, Final Cut 10. And uh, some of the relinking kind of gotchas and some ways to uh, deal with issues. So here is a project that is from 2003, a long time ago. Um, some commercials for an oil change place called ZipLube that was in New Mexico. It's just now gone. But um, we did a series of spots for them. So this is four spots in this particular series. And as you can see, I brought this in from 7 to 10 from Intelligent Assistance. I've got a lot of missing stuff. Wow, a whole lot of missing things. Now, some of this could have been caused by an error, perhaps, in... 7 to 10 because obviously it's a tricky process of doing this kind of conversion. Um, but hopefully this will um, apply to other things as well. So first of all, let's just try to relink this stuff. So I'm going to go here and choose relink. I've selected the event. I'm just going to select just the missing ones. Now there's 156 files here that are potentially uh, want to relink. And one thing before I even do this, I just want to show you this. Here is my actual media managed project back from, let's see when this folder was made, um, November 2003. And if you look here, there's 140, 105 items, but there's 156. So as we went back and started looking at this, I realized something was really wrong with the way media management or media managed tool in Final Cut 7. In fact, every single project that we had media managed was not properly collected. So it's kind of your first gotcha. Not to throw poor uh, Final Cut 7 folks under the bus um, as far as the engineers, but it, it didn't work well. Um, so that might be your first um, issue that you can't find things. Let's go ahead and click on this. And try to locate this. So let's locate this. Find 114 of the 156. Let's go ahead and click OK. Ah, the dreaded note. 121 name matches were found, but 18 are not compatible. Gives us a note about relink files must have the same media type, similar audio channels, and must be long enough to cover all the clips that reference that file. Oh, so there's a little note here as well. Select a single item to get information about why it's not compatible. So, hmm. Let's just take note of that. Click OK and relink. So, it's going to go through the relink process here. And it did it really fast. Um, but I still have some stuff missing. So, how, how do we sort through this? Well, there's some kind of hidden little features. Once you know about it, you're like, oh, duh. If you go up here to the find or the filter box and type missing, you're going to find all the stuff that's missing. So here we've got 68 things that are missing. Now, the projects just have missing elements in them, but the stuff that's actually missing is this stuff here. We've still got 68 that are missing. Now let's try to find a specific example. Now I know that Dorklos, which is the German version of Dorklos, I'm kidding. Um, is an issue. So let's try to relink just that one. And remember, we were told before that we'd get more information if we did that. So we're going to go ahead and click this, locate selected. Oh, look, sure enough, it's in this folder. Okay, now it gives some details. The new file is not long enough to cover the clip. Doorclose.wave and event zip lube spots June 03. Hmm, tells us. The same information we saw before. Well, but this is very specific. So event zip blue spots June 03. This is actually a typo, unfortunately, in this dialog box. That should say project in zip loop spots June 03. So we know that this one project is the problem here. So now that we know that this one project is a problem, what would happen if we tried to relink this just in its own library? Would it still be able to relink? Well, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose File. I'm going to um, copy clip to a library. I'm just going to call it um, ZipLube 
single file. Okay. And now I've got this one thing here. Now let's try to relink that. What do you know? It works. So we can learn from this that the real problem had to do with how it was used inside a project timeline and not the file itself. Hmm. So this can help us with some things. So first of all, for this project, I want to deal with all my projects individually because I know I need to figure out, whoa, what, what can, what's really the problem here with linking? What, what length is the problem? So what I did I went ahead and copied these to their own event. And the way I did that is I clicked on the project and I said copy to the library and I called it ZipLube Fat Tire. And copied things over. So I've just isolated that inside of a library. So now I can, I can deal with this a little easier than I could in one big sum. And I can just merge all these together if I need to in the future. Okay. Let's go to records and take a look at this. And we'll open up this. Oh, lots of red, as you can see. But now we're just gonna relink. We're just relinking in essence this one project here. Let's locate all these. Great, 15 of 16 found, that's excellent. Ah, we still have some incompatible. Let's take a look and see what those are. Okay, wow, look, the video came through here without a problem, so the Looks like Dorklos, Dorklos. Oh, huh, this Dorklos thing is an issue. Well, let's take a look at this Dorklos. <laughs> let's zoom in tight. Okay. What is going on with this? Why would it say there's not enough media there? Well, what if we find that Dorklos file? And let's drag it in. I'm not really gonna worry about what I'm doing with it. I'm just gonna stick it over here. Turn my snapping on. So it snaps right there. Let's zoom into that and take a look. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. Check out this thing. It's a slightly longer than this. Okay, now this is really key as you can see this gray shading area. This is a single frame in Final Cut 10. And this tells us something. Final Cut 10 is not frame-based, but in fact is subframe-based because I can trim this with inside this frame. Final Cut 7, on the other hand, is frame-based, so it could not trim within a frame. So it looks like what's going on here is that the audio file didn't actually match up directly to a frame, but the Final Cut 7 file did, and it's not letting it relink just because this tiny bit that's here. Hmm. So, tell you what, let's, let's get this out of here. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, and then delete that here as well. Make sure I don't have that other door closed there. Okay. So what can we do to deal with all this? Imagine we had a whole bunch of these files. It could be kind of a pain. Well, let's open up the timeline index and now let's type missing here. And this will show just the missing items. And in this case, you can say video, audio. I'm just, I'm just worried about the audio. So what if I select all these things and just kind of figure, you know, it's probably because they're, this frame thing is weird um, with it. They're a little bit longer. So I'm gonna select those then command two. And now I'm gonna control D negative one. So I'm just gonna, Trim these up by one frame. Now, let's go back here and relink. What do you know? They're no longer incompatible. And it relinks. Great. Okay, so what's going on with Yaman? Yaman. Hmm, that is not working. So let's go ahead and click on this and see what we can figure out what's going on. Okay, it's missing. Oh, look, it's a movie file. But there's no match. Oh, wait, there is a Yama in here. Oh, that's AIF. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and relink that and see what happens. What do you know? It let it do that. And you can see it 
cool. Only problem is, look over here, something is up with this. Well, we went from a movie file to an AIF file, and I think this is an issue actually with 7 to 10. But um, if we shift F on this, ah, we can't find that. How could we possibly fix this? Well, we have no idea what the in and out points are on this clip, or do we? Well, if you right click on it and choose open in timeline, look, we know what the in and out points are right here. In fact, this and here mark the in and out points that were used in this storyline and the timeline actually records TV. So if we could just replace that, oops, here's my yaw man. I'm going to option R, which is replace from start. Great. And now, oh look, everything's there. And I can even shift F and get to it. Cool. Wow, so look at this. We were able to relink um, everything with minimal effort um, in here, and now we have our previous project. So this big thing about the frame is quite a gotcha, and something, I've only seen this happen in seven to 10 projects, but it could happen in others as well. So anyway, hope this helps. Enjoy.